Thanks for watching my video today. Let's discuss an important formula in integration. Okay, indefinite integration. So integration of sine of x dx is equal to minus cos of x plus c, where c is a constant of integration. And number two, integration of cos x is sine x plus uh, some constant c. So you can uh, do similarly that uh, since we know that integration and differentiation are inverse of each other so you can take the difference uh, differentiation of this and uh, you get this one but uh, I'm going to use uh, other method okay? from Euler I'm going to do start from Euler from Euler we know sine x is what 1 upon 2i e to the i x minus e to the negative i x okay this is Euler formula for sine and again for cos x which is 1 over 2 e to the i x plus e to the minus i x okay now I'm going to integrate now now integrate sine x dx is equal to if I integrate this, since 1 over 2i is a constant, so it will come out before the integration, and this is will come uh, separately. Okay? Integration e to the i x minus uh, dx minus integration e to the minus i x dx. So integration of e to the i x is we know it is e to the i x and don't forget that in here it will be multiplied by this i this one okay. and so this also I'm going to prove in other uh, in, in my other video okay let's neglect that uh, that constant okay and let's put in the uh, after that minus integ uh, no no e to the negative i x over negative i okay uh, let's say plus c for both for, for both constant i'm writing out here c now minus i become plus so this i and this i can take out common so it will be and that do will come on and i into i mean i square i square mean minus minus of 1 upon 2 e to the i x this become plus e to the negative i x okay plus c what can we, what do we get sin x dx is equal to negative and what what is this whole term okay this is nothing but cos cosine cosine okay so cos of x plus c okay now similarly you can do for if you integrate cos okay you get what that sign this is for common number one for common number two let's integrate the, that cos one okay cos x dx is equal to one upon two i'm going to do in shortcut uh, okay that's the integration of e to the i x dx plus integration of e to the negative i x dx which is half this one mean e to the i x over i okay plus this one will be e to the negative i x over negative i let me keep here one constant c now this i and i can take out common isn't it one upon two i if i take out common okay. e to the i x this become negative e to the negative i x plus c Okay, from this we can show the integration of cosine x dx is one is this this is nothing but in the same as sine of x so sine of x plus c some constant c and this is our last our, our proof